Parametric generation and optimization of high density mixed use city block typologies. Case study Waterfront Tanjung Pagar, Singapore. So, what exactly is a parametric model? What's usually known as a parametric model in the context of Grasshopper can also be called a generative or procedural model in other contexts. It's essentially a piece of computer code that generates different geometries based on some input parameters. In this example, we can see how different 3D buildings are generated out of the same city block by changing other defining parameters of the parametric model. By generating different variations within the same model, we can also get an understanding of the cloud of solutions that are allowed by the model. This can help us evaluate proposed rules and laws in architecture and urban planning. The code behind the parametric model can be built in software such as Grasshopper, which offers an intuitive flow-based visual programming interface and is especially adequate for 3D models. In the waterfront Tanjong Pagar project at the Future Cities Laboratory in Singapore, parametric modeling is applied for rapid testing and evaluation of master planning parameters for the old harbour area of the city-state. The values of parameters such as position, rotation and sizes of the towers, openings and shape of the street level podia, or sky gardens and sky bridges can be modified to evaluate their impact. The different variations can then be evaluated in their urban context. How can the interaction with this parametric model be improved? When used in the traditional way, the interaction with this parametric model for design, evaluation or collaboration is limited to 2D screens. This is especially limiting for collaborative processes since it doesn't allow for independent exploration and visualization of the generated geometry by different participants. Two different interaction and collaboration solutions are proposed, 3D printing and augmented reality. There are many different solutions for 3D printing. For small scale precise printing, desktop stereolithography is recommended. The resin-based print must also be cleaned and cured. After printing, the print supports have to be removed. Once printed and prepared, different variations for a specific area can be displayed and compared to each other. This allows for a hands-on approach in which all participants are encouraged to hold and look at the different solutions from different parameter values in order for them to decide which they believe could be best. The chosen solutions can then easily be displayed without requiring any extra technology for any visitors or participants to see. Augmented reality, or AR for short, allows for virtual 3D models to be inserted into real environments and to be seen by different participants. On a head-mounted display, such as Microsoft's HoloLens, the overlapping of real and virtual is made even more believable thanks to the 3D stereoscopic effect. The user can move freely in the room and the 3D model reacts to this movement, generating the illusion that it actually exists in its fixed location. The 3D models can be placed in space by using the Vuforia plugin with image markers. Whenever a specific marker is detected, its associated models are shown. By moving a marker, the models move also. When a new marker is detected, its associated model is displayed and the previous model is hidden. This simulation is done within Unity to test markers and uses the computer's webcam. 
Now a 1 to 2000 model of the area is displayed. This second marker activates a real scale model of the area, as seen from the pinnacle at Duxton. By displaying this model in augmented reality together with the parameters that can be changed, a mediation and negotiation platform for many participants can be established. Simulations of, for example, daylighting, energy consumption, wind flows or distributions of users can also be run on the 3D geometry generated by the parametric model. They can then be displayed in augmented reality. Optimization tools based on displaying 2D or 3D design spaces, in which many different variations are analyzed and distributed according to a set of values, can also greatly benefit from augmented reality. Not only can complex spatial relations be viewed in actual 3D space, each of the representation points can be a small 3D model of the variation it represents.